defense, just looking for early info. There isn't a CT aggress, but there is a G2 now testing the apartments. Monacy's been spotted in a full clip from Jimpat. Oh, damn. He gets nothing. Magush delivered as well. It's going to be Torshi that's scrambling back to the bomb site, nice. dealt with by Hunter. Nice double kill. And that's pretty much pistol security. We've got a five versus two, Zersh and Brolan. Nothing they can do here. Yeah, I mean, when you start with three, usually I end with about five, six, actually. Usually, once I've had a good pistol, it's over. Uh, so we'll see if that works out for Hunter, if he can actually stabilize and keep that uh, output up. Might as well hold him to the Kevlar at this stage. Uh, suggest they might force by in the second. We've got Zersh with a smoke and another kill as well. Some money injected into the coffers. Uh, so yeah, Inferno does lend itself to a force by in the CT side, but they're making sure the Brawlheim doesn't get to save anything here. He's currently got 100 health. Means he might even get a free helmet in the next round as well. Yeah, with these kills coming through, I feel like uh, the force by is inevitable. But a very convincing round from G2. They'll be happy with that. Not be any longer. And G2 certainly do the Molotovs. The smoke started to be deployed here. Sure, he's going to see nothing. The P250 spam through the smoke. I don't think it's going to do much for him. Can he find a timing? He absolutely can. He forces out the team kill. Now it's down to Zersh. They know he's here. Can't find a second kill. He's back down to a three on three. 20 seconds. The bomb should be planted momentarily. Brolan with the spam. Doesn't deny the plant. And now advantage towards G2. Yeah, sticky situation for this one. Despite the bomb going down, Brolan's found Hoogsy. So it's up to Hunter and Nexa to try and convert the second round. This is getting a little uncomfortable for G2. Time continues to tick away. They're on the site. No resistance. No one new box. No one emo. They certainly no must kids. be. Oh, that's another point. Thank you. Check. Nexa down. Up for the clutches. Hunter, this would be one hell of a 1v3. Two of the three found. Oh, done it. And they're not confident in the defuse. See you later. I must have been on the nose. Obviously, they get the in-game music as well, but uh, towards you not feeling it will be G2 finding their second. I would say you're almost certainly going to see uh, another attempt at this one from Marcelisa. Uh, partially invest into this next one. Comes down to the 1v1. They save an AK-47. Strong as ever. Get it towards the top of Banana. CT's trying to reclaim control. Zershin tucks himself back in towards the sandbags. Didn't work out in the previous round. We'll see what he can make of it this time. Monacy finds the first kill. That's the AK going down. And the pistol's getting dealt with once again. This is looking clean from G2. No disastrous rounds. Double smoke, not a big deal. It's fine. Everything's under control. And this was sort of how the game in Copenhagen went. I mean, G2 was winning rounds mostly off of their banana control. That lends itself to close running counters. He's actually oh. thankful Shui goes down here, <laughs> quite frankly. Uh, let him get on the rifles now. Let's have a proper gun round here. Torji can just about squeak out the AWP. How does this one go down then? 30 second mark, here comes G2. Hooksy not clearing his corner. Shui set go. up for success, finds himself a triple. Upon the arrival of middle. Nice maneuver. Worked out wonderfully, didn't it? The bait, the switch. Last player alive here. Nexus just looking to go down and they'll find themselves some AKs. I hope Jimmy gets something other than the MP9, but I don't think he's close enough. <laughs> so this is a nightmare round. You've got Nico and Hooksy walking wounded. They've got a Molotov and one smoke. Oh my gosh. Zersh, if they get a quick kill on him, there is a window. If they can take him down and there's no rebuttal, he gets the double, though. That, that is round. Because Brolan now can rotate in. Torji can join in. Have two players at the A side. Next, he would have to do something unthinkable here at the A side. Hunter's back in T spawn with 15 seconds. The round's over. They're not going to be planting the bomb. Uh, so that is it. That Bianca roll, you know, it's not always the most glamorous, not always the most easy. But he's making it look so in these last couple. Yeah, a couple of good reads from Maus, you know, calculated gambles, it was... And in terms of utility, he's got nothing, but uh, Shui should be able to back him up, at least with a flashbang. But you also have Nexa putting some pressure on mid with a smoke long. Going in. Another equal trade, like you said, favors G2 into the site. Bomb can go down thanks to Hunter punching in the code once he's cleared. And that pulls Shui away just enough where Brolan is on his own, and the best he can do is... I think Maus is playing for the exits here just to... Contain G2, keep pressure on their economy. I think that's a good call. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, the money was very limited already. Jimmy, this is his chance to strike. He's at the bottom of Banana. He's going to get a kill here, no problem. Farm some cash and keep them very poor indeed. Waiting for the last possible moment to try and take that Monacy, but he'll keep his AWP in play. Roland's turn to just throw caution to the wind and straight into Nico's quarter. Very sharp. Yeah, he gave it a good go. Traded by Hoopsit. All our brawl. 
Everything will reset and subside over towards the banana and they'll call for the rotations. They really are on the back foot though. They're putting a lot of responsibility towards Jim Fat. He'll be alone towards A. There's still a lot of the round to be played here as well. Torji probably needs a bit more control than this. They need a bit of information. Shui, he knows they can't have this much control of the site. I don't mind it. He had to try and do something there. The rotations are so far away. If he gets a kill, delays a plan, maybe they can consider the retake here, but absolutely not now. There was two strong rounds in a row from Mouse, but G2 have answered back amicably as we uh, do see three survive once again. And Torji will have to save the orb with trying to push through and get the second kill. He got, he got traded by Hooksy, so no problem whatsoever there. <laughs> I mean, picking up the smoke on the body on Banana was a real, like, uh, lucky stroke, wasn't it? I mean, just on the way in. First advantage they've had in some time. No trade at this juncture. It's going to be Nico, though, trying to amend. That as he pushes in towards the banana area once again. He has got Zerk on the other side. Quite the battle is building up here. There's no way Nico gets away with this one. This is looking very clean for Mouse. Full flash, Nico. There he is. Going for the Hail Mary spam. Announced how white his screen was and a nice flag from Exertion. These rounds are very yeah, defined. Like it's, And I think he's the type of a leader that has to be in the action to, to really call well as well, uh, well to benefit from it. Boys, just to note, even after a, a ton of rounds, a couple in a row, G2 at bottom of the barrel in terms of loss yep. bonus. Tilt starting to rise. Fully flash for Nico, and they're going to have to force by here around the Monacy AWP. I don't think he has time to deploy it now. He's going to try and get it in position. You've got to go for the swing after deploying it. Oh, Perfectly it. played. Very nice. That is really impressive, especially controlling Damn. the spray onto the Hooksy Hunt. He's managed to do it, this lone pillar on Eight the side. If he can deny Going this, for it. They're doing it. not plant it underneath his nose. Exertion unable to stop Chill. it. Knife out in the smoke. 4v3 on the retake. Maus have the advantage, but for how long? What's Modesty doing? Sitting out in the open as the smoke fades. Torji gets a freebie, but Nico and oh, Nick, so they're go. piecing this together. A 2v4 now, too. It's up to Jimmy. Torji holding. You can't really peek. Nico knows he's got limitations to his angle. Held by Torji. Loud is Jimmy. Oh, oh Nico on the no scope. Racking him up, does what Monacy couldn't to take the round. It's a Nico AWP round. You have my AWP, says Nico. <laughs> In-game leader, Orpa, and Rifle. The fellowship of the mouse lives on. That's wild. A round where they had the saved orb, some tech nines, a Galil. It was dicey and Zersh and did absolutely everything he could towards that B bomb site. Set up the blockade, but it wasn't quite enough. That was a hell of a shot to kick things off. Anika rolling back the years of the AWP and showing us that he can still land every single shot presented to him. Three kills on the B bomb site. Shui, however, is a perfect angle for this. Spots them out as they walk out the abs. He doesn't manage to get anything other than bullets. Brought very low. Ooh. Yeah, another nightmare for Jimmy. Nico takes it. This is a ninth. They can get that bomb down. Trying to make this as difficult as possible for Torji. Staring at the Last smoke. Round. Okay, you've got a kit. You've got a HE. Perhaps a bit of team play here. Pop the smoke open. But it's Torji that's got it. He's the one that needs the, the smoke pop for him, essentially. So, we're going to go for the boost. Look above it, and Nico's ready for it. <laughs> oh, God. G H. G H G H. Torji, he's uh, he's going to give it a go. No time for this one. He's going to go down for his just fourth death in 12 rounds. That's Inferno for you. That's G2's Inferno for you. And they're making light work of our T side. Nine to boast as we swap sides. We'll be RB. And Hunter, they're not looking for him. He's had a nice first. Finds Exertion. Nexa successful Reloaded. with the reposition. Gets himself a fresh clip. And needs another he head. Can do it. Oh, he, can do he could. It. He can't stabilize oh. onto Shui despite his heroics in the double kill. It's an eco clutch. Cook it! And he's hitting. No! Nico knows. He looked at it. His cross set placement was perfect. Shui through the smoke, spamming oh away. Nico's processed the information. He knows where you are. Shui jumping for it. Nico has eight bullets remaining. Starting to doubt his position now, trying to check it out, work out if he has vacated the bomb site in general. Shui still in that pit, spotted, definitely spotted now. Nico should be able to take him, 10 HP, one bullet will do it. Drops in a little flashbang and now just wants to get the plan down. Needs to guarantee that money. Shui can still do this, but he takes something unbelievable. No bullets two, for Nico. Two bullets. Two shots in the clip available. Goes to the reload now. Still plenty of time. Doesn't need the kit necessarily. If he can close this one out quickly. And Shui once again tucking himself wearing the bomb site here. It's on a knife's edge. One more shot from Nico. It's clean in the end. It's double digits for G2. But as I said, the bomb being planted is at least something for Mouse Sports. Oh, that was a stressful 1v1. Nico's B site. 
to be tested. Good Polly. This is looking really good now. He can open things up. Some open runway to find a couple of oh. kills. It's Hooksy with a double on the MP9. We said this is a must-win round. It's the in-game leader mowing them down, farming the cash, and finding 11 rounds on the board. But G2, he said they had to win it. They don't even get the plan. Traditionally, it would be eco-territory at this point, but I don't think you can allow your opposition to get. Next up, the M4. He can make this round work. There's the conversion on the initial kill towards Brolan. And now looking for multiple frags. Hunter seems to deliver Ooh, them. Dink. Yeah, Jimmy's in trouble. No bomb for him. Hunter's got it on lock. Throws out the Molotov to stop retrieval. Throws out the smoke. He is going to be able to pick up the bomb. I say that. Nope. Baited breath. It is on the edge of the smoke. Hunter can hold that. Jimmy's not going to take any risks. Yeah, or well, he's going well, to have to. they've actually let the bomb be picked up potentially, but uh, Jimmy hoping to find the flanking player. That's going to be Hunter. Holding it towards the apartments. So much to do. Such little time. Such little HP. Yeah, understandably, he's going to be expecting that uh, bomb to be covered, but Hunter's made the wise choice to just hold the return to B. They've got B. it locked out. If he goes to B, you're right. Hooksy just needs to add a couple of shots. Should be job done. Or is damn, it? Damn. I mean, yeah, you're going to gonna overlook this, right? Yeah, you can't afford to be clearing every angle. And so with his back turned, a bullet to the back to end it. It's a little in, uh, lackluster on the end. You can see a 13-3 to scoreline, though. It Oh, he's got an opportunity for a freebie covered, though. Hunter's not been able to find lethality. He's actually yeah. in a lot of trouble. Jimmy finds it with the Glock. Double smoke up. Frags from Zershan. They're into the A site. Legacy split. Yeah, all about that sandbags play. And I, I like it. And uh, he found the right timing on the lower player. Good heads up, making sure Miles that have that covered, that exact peak. It's, that, that spot is so hard to figure out your timing when you're in. You can't Impossible. see anything. You're just going by footstep, going by comms. Do you hold it a little bit longer? When do you peak? Next, in terms of his utility, he's got a smoke remaining, which will be deployed now. Well timed, but they could play in front of it, boys. Very in front. Very, very in front. He's done well to find only the one, and maybe a second was on the cards there as well. Shui's done a lot with the MAC-10. Now Shui even bringing the fight to Hunter. Gets him on notice. Does need to play a little safe. You've got all those nades. You've got that smoke to throw. You've got a molly for Guardian. There you go. He's saving, yeah. To, to, to find, find one, as Hooksy did, still insu insufficient. It's brutal out there. It's why we talked about in the in the pre-match about when we were discussing Vertigo is like at some point G2 during this half is going to have to... And you don't go for this at all. Exertion though on the Lurk. Nico heads up. He's going to be watching for... Oh, just spot... Oh, See ya. Oh, oh my. Oh dear. He's he hasn't died yet. Working. Six and zero. <laughs> ah, nailed it. Nice. And Torji's taking all the weapons away. Um, well, it's maximum loss bonus, but saving one rifle probably won't get you too far. Hunter trying to see if there's anything he can do in terms of the exits. They were hunting, but he will survive. Okay, this is exhibit B of why being a B anchor sucks. Look at look at the mini map right now. There's there's Nexa anchoring the B bomb site and no one else, so he's got to worry about mid also. Thankfully for G2, it is the right call for the moment. Plenty of nades stream Wait. up into the site. Counter flash, Modesty and Hunter have their pick of all the targets and they take down two. Oh, I was gonna say it's the first advantage they've had. This entire half, can they hold on to it? Two versus one, you're up against Brolan, who showed incredible form in the last moment, especially at this tournament as well. He's got time to work with a full utility belt. The molly, the smoke, the flash. $10,000, Jason, he's gonna go for it. We'll see what he can do. Yeah, one more kill would be, well, I mean, they've already done well to get the damage. That smoke out towards the elevator means Brolan can only be one place. G2 is ready for it. He's not making, not trying to be subtle about his positioning, positioning as he comes out. That smoke had faded, but G2, well prepared. Four and four, as you always say, favors a T side towards you patrolling. The A ram is going to be another B side of the attack. It could flash him next, but it doesn't really affect anyone. Shui on the front line. So Mouse, they've breached the bomb site here. So much damage inflicted, it's almost zero chance. They'll be able to fend them off as Bronan with a lurk in middle. Shui through the smoke. Round done again. It's a pretty devastating reset, Ooh. unless Monacy can time this flank to perfection. There's the bomb. Yeah, and Hooksy's already found Shui as well. They're going to overlook this. The trigger discipline is absurd from Odyssey. Hello. Now Torji spots him. The penny drops, but so does the bomb. They haven't got no. the health. What? And they haven't got heads. Jim Pat removes another. All falls onto Brol, and he doesn't have their health for this. He was supposed to be the late piece. Now he's the one coming up the stairs into Monacy. Oh, smoke. Still limits his options. Does give him a bit of playmaking potential. Monacy might overlook this. He has. Starts to move away. 
And now Smoke sets up Brolin Damn. for the play. First found, despite the low HP. Hoax is low. He is susceptible to the spam if Brolin can pull the trigger first. He comes up clutch. Oh, that's a heartbreaker for G2. You had it right there in the palm of your hands. Was Monacy quick switching weapons? Was he going, was he shuffling back and forth a little bit between a pistol and knife? Brolin starts his crawl. Torji to clear out. He's got the perfect weapon for this, and they are ooh, spotted. Nico will go down. It's a nice, oh, comfortable frag. And that two-man advantage has just been squandered as easy as that. Oh, Hunter, the temptation is real to try and deny this bomb plan. He's going to spam away at his P250, hoping to distract Torji as this the Eagle comes through for the clear. Oh, doesn't spot him. Oh, past two of them. Oh, my goodness. Ships in the night. He's walked past them both. Shui's on the site now. He's not going to be ready for this. Gets the clean headshot. There's Brolin for the trade. And Nexa, he's done so much in this round, but it does seem like it's slipping through G2's fingers. A recovery again from Maus in the number disadvantage. Torji and Brolin playing a wicked game here. Torji going to call the bluff on that one. Yeah. yeah. There's no way he has a kill. He won't be finding that final kill, and it's a five on three given away. It was a great effort, as he said. Nexa with the pistols. Spamming two of them down with the five seven towards the B steps, funnels them back in towards A, but slowly but surely mouse that bomb planted. But well, man, that's why it'd be interesting. There's gonna be about 20 different opinions. Absolutely. Uh, understandably, this one's actually hitting up. Brolin finding Nexus aggressions, they started too middle. So surely there's gonna be some gaping voids in the setup from the CTs. At the moment it's middle, but it's actually Hunter being tested here. His smoke is well timed. A flash for his swing. Yeah, they know he's there now. <laughs> Grenades coming through. Max Ouch. damage grenade lands at the front door of Nico. And he's not long for this world. It'll be sure to take him down. This half is already spiraled out of control. Monesty goes down with one, but it's all for naught. At the perfect time for them to take that forward position, take the second stage of ramp. That's got to be such a good feeling. Like you throw that flashbang over and you get two assists off the bat of it. And it's like, well, that's, that's, that's round done. done. It might not be, though. This is the kill. Oh, there it is. That was the kill. <laughs> okay, I'm trying my best here, guys. I really am. Hey, Modesty, he's got an op. Four bullets left. Down he goes. First fire of the Glock. And Nexa, you've got zero chance of winning it. Maybe you can make it cool. This is one of the best teams in the world, just oh, playing really good Counter-Strike. Nexa finds an exit. And you're gonna run as far away as possible stick. to get the op. Gets them very close to clearing Nexa. If he moves them even just a muscle, he is gonna be a dead man. Oh, it didn't clear it. Actually, the impact has been punished for that, so a big frag from Nexa to return us to a 3v3. Very level for a moment longer. Yeah, Nexa tucked his ass in nice behind that box. Ronan is going to surge through. He knows he's repositioned. Oh, such an open side. You got the MP9 to try and deal with this, boys. Alex, you might as well start preparing the, the half-time monologue here. Do you think I can do it? Do you think I can do, do, I can do it from now? And, I, and by the time I finish, I reckon I, think I can do it. With position position, yes. I, okay. I think with how talented you are, you could probably scale it up or down, whatever is needed. And so, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It is going to be a 11-1 half. Oh, he's risked that. Maus picking themselves up. 11 <laughs> rounds. It was a beautiful 1v2 from Zershan. Oh, he's behind him, right? Yeah, there it is. Oh, oh, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? G2 take two. Maus 10. It's their map. And a third map likely imminent. Stay tuned. But it's Brolin, the first to take a pot shot. He's been exposed. Gap through the smoke for Monacy to find the first. Chaos oh. now, pandemonium on the side. Nexus punching in the code. A flank from Jimmy. One of G2 will be tending to that. Or even all of them. You can see Nexus jump spotting. Monacy there as well to spot it out. An unfavorable retake for Maus as G2 looking to get themselves started on the right foot on this T side. Oh, there's a chance. There's a gap here. Uh -oh. What they're monitoring, the duel is... Oh, oh it's all coming crumbling down. Nico with his Glock. He's got it. Needs to land it, and he does. No time left. Jimmy needs this kill right now. Nico can stall with sandbags. He's playing it perfectly, oh. and there's the headshot. And G2 survived for the moment. <laughs> Just here got we go. himself out of trouble. Okay. Um, he is have anywhere near the ramp is a death sentence for Nico. Monacy's AK. <gasps> Jump! Oh my goodness, Monacy's been caught off guard there. He's he's gotten away with the frag on his life at least, but the, still that torchy frag is it? Ooh, could could it worse? Hooksy's done a lot with the Mac 10. Now Hunter's on hot pursuit of Brolan. Jimmy oh, no. clears out Monacy. Hunter can win this. Hunter needs to win this. He's got the bomb. Gets Brolan for sure. Oh, oh not. 
slipping away from him now. Bronze holding that headshot and go! Oh, and it's a clean Lord. one as well. Mouse! A second round force by. Line up for Shui. Oh, nice reaction. Hello. Oh, oh, God. Hello, Monacy. What's it at now, Henry? Jesus Christ. It's uh, about 20% at this stage. Oh, it's gone up. It's skyrocketed. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's going up astronomically at this point. Double he might even D. have an advantage, but Jimmy's here. If he denies a plant, all of a sudden it falls apart again. It's a safe plant, Jason. They're doing so well. <laughs> oh, modesty has got another one. But Jimmy's in a 1v2 with a real chance at it. A very real chance. Smoking a kit, and he's already found the first. Now spotted out and executed. It's a modesty round. Okay. One kill from okay. Monacy. <laughs> all right. Oh, Roland, beautifully oh. baited. Wiggles out the orb, swings into Hunter, takes the head, extends their advantage of double kill from the eight defense of Brawl and couldn't get away from the flames in time. Monacy still He's alive and kicking, boys. Yeah, but there's one short. How do you do this if you're Nico? You've got one more smoke on Nico that he can deploy. Exertion waiting on the flank for his time to strike. So Nico's going to go. Oh, damn. Jim Pat. And Nico will never expect it. Exertion pops out his old nemesis. It's 12 to 6. Let's see how good Jimmy is at this B site. Oh, never mind. Monacy's just better. And Shui, next victim. Monacy has cleared out the what site. The Makes it look easy. Just to know from that exertion point, he's 5 and 0 in opening jewels right now. Money's not great on the T side. You we'll give it a look, though. Towards you with the sound cues. I think he goes down at the very least. Sneaky will find him. Brolan needs to tuck away now. Oh, my goodness. All right. This is actually kind of insane. That, that's a huge couple of kills. Now you've pretty much guaranteed number 8. What do you do if your mouse here? Tax you force out first. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, if you get 2400 in the next run, you're 2k right now, and it's still a like, pretty shit buy at that point. It's not ideal. You wouldn't force buy. Like, he knows they're coming. They're not falling back. And he can. Honestly, he almost goes down. There's still a fighting hell. chance. Jimmy can win this round. It's actually still pretty competitive here. Jimmy on the front lines playing in front of the utility right now. <laughs> I think he gets a couple here. Yeah, this is not bad. He sneaks away into the smokes. That's perfectly played. This is for the game as well, bear in mind. It's down to next from Monacy. He's down to 22 points of health. I'd say advantage mouse sports almost here. Oh, yeah, especially because they're split. They've never been able to actually get a coordinated attack. Jimmy's been able to pick one off and fall away, pick another one off and fall away, and Monacy's got 22 HP. Bloody hell, though. But it doesn't matter if you're that fast. <laughs> yeah, the yellow flash. Does he bail? Go to B? He's got time just about to do that. Oh, it's a nice move by Zershan, though. You'll never expect this reposition, will you? In a million years, if you're Monacy. He's definitely no, not, he's not even looking. It. He's done it. GG. Yeah. Wow, what a turnaround. They lock it down. Great work from Jimmy towards the ramp side. Brolin as well, stubborn regardless of utility. Mouse will be happy with that as they equalize in this quarterfinal. It will be determined. We will separate these two names on Nuke. Hooksy's here. They're going to clear the vents. Not super well, but they do get it at the end of the day. And Hooksy can't land any of the headshots that he needed. Nexus shifts over also without the silencer. He's got one and he spots all three. Needs that kill, but can't land it. And we have a little bit of a retake on our hands. Nico is going to be coming up from secret towards Mini. But now they've entrenched themselves into the bomb site. And Nexa can't do anything until his teammate arrives and he's gone down already. The game is up. And Nico is held back, held at bay, nothing landing. And this is going to be a first half pistol for Mouse on the T side of Nuke. I think you might be right. Nico have nothing to do. It's the upper split from outside. Even the first frag going in their favor. It's Mouse running away with it. Convincing shots in towards the upper bomb site. And once the bomb was planted, it felt like the retake was now an impossible. Max is going to be tucked behind the boxes. There's the Molotov. Hunter waiting for HUD. He has picked up a flashbang that he can't really use quite yet. They're going to execute out. First contact is Nexa. He only gets the one, but there's Monacy and Hunter. Now the vent is open to slide down. Hunter gets aggressive, and all of a sudden we found a two on two, but will you expect Torji? Will you realize it? That flashbang doesn't go nearly far enough, but Monacy finds a 1v1. Damn. AK in hand, and he's got plenty of time to make this work. Confirm you're not defusing and take the head Damn. of uh, Monacy off. So it's going to be 2-0. The force by exciting towards the end. When they get to the lower bomb site, they're not going to have anything to play with. Nico, oh, he's got to be careful. Good find. Jumping up over the smoke, even gets the follow-up. Controlled spray. Hooksy's coming up from secret, and Nico's going to back off. This 
He connects. And so does Modesty. And first gun round is perfect for G2. All five players standing, all five players alive. And Mao's forced back immediately. Early on, deny any sort of yard control for Mao's. Yeah, make Mao's feel like the outside is going to be tough to break into. It's a good start. None of those aggressive plays, but Nico's able to find uh, kills in both his fights. Supremely patient in his fight selection, and Mal is going to reset after the save. Three to one. Try and catch them off guard as the rotations come through, and they are going to be coming through. It's going to be Hooksy in position, sprays the first one down. Next to can't replicate that form, but Hooksy continues to frag. Solid as a rock. Down in the lower bomb site here. Another clean round for G2. A four player survive. It sends Mouse packing into full eco territory. And now they're officially online. It's a nice injection of cash. They build up the resources here on the defense. Nico had spotted a couple on top of Silo. They're going to remain aggressive. Dangerous with them right above. Oh, Nico's well overextended. He will go down after just one kill. Hunter's there to mop it up afterwards, though. Fine AK work, and we're tied. Yeah. It's looking quite nice for G2 now. Plenty of cash. Monacy holding the angle, three players on the other side. Now the swing comes in as the Nexer is activated and he hits the all-important shot, but Monacy taking damage on Rue. We've got to push him towards Lobby. Oh. He think by Monacy standards, he'd nailed that one, but it's a narrow miss. And Hunter, well, he's been read like a book. Torshi takes him down, it's a four on two. Yeah, that's really well managed. Miss opportunity and, and Monacy just taking that extra step forward to get the deep angle, a little bit more of a difficult shot and also cause him to take a ton of damage on the fallback. So now it's a saving mission. I remember that. Oh, but he still can't handle it. <laughs> Apparently not. The head-to-head -head of exertion of Nico is going to be something wild yeah. in this match. We'll check it out in the post game, the kill matrix. Uh, exertion looking to close things out. Monacy 10 HP. One bullet would do it. I think the bomb might even do it. Observers. Yeah, I think that was, you know, he was the first death in this round. You could tell Monacy is close ramp, so, you know, G2 wants to go for that lobby crunch, but just... Nate is going to soften him up even more. 13 HP. That Molotov forces his hand. He somehow, somehow almost gets away. Hooksy needs a kill, Damn. but he can't get it. That's a quick shot from Exertion. This defense has come crumbling down, and it's all over. Upper bombsite is Maus, and they take the plant. Yeah, nothing more to be said, Jason. It's going to be next from Monacy holding on. It all started with Exertion getting that lower control, forcing out the rotation. Slowly but surely taking more control of the map. Most notably, CT Spawn flushing out Nico as well from the ramp from outside. Nothing he could do. It's actually a really nice round there from Mouse. Perfectly played. Four players surviving, and it sends the G2 economy into a bit of a questionable spot. This would be a tactical timeout. Changing the pace. Upper bombsite. Hunter's gone down. Hooksy, he looks direct left. And Monacy oh. out of hunt. Ooh, well pronged, well timed from Mouse. Well yeah. pronged. Well, pronged Did you like indeed. that? That's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Very well pronged indeed. I agree. And uh, again, another save here. It's getting out of control once again. Vertigo. G2 got stuffed. Next up, uh, he's got the kip, but uh, for now, looking for some exits, I would assume. Flashbang is going to be devastating as the orb spots out. Nico is in towards CT spawn. The hunt will be on here. They've got a ton of cash, a lot of resources, so they might as well try and keep them hamstrung on the CT side. Does he go for the Ninja? No, he does not. Not going to happen. And Mouse extend their lead. The change of pace was real. The upper pop, as predicted, comes through. And it's going to send G2 spiraling. They're down to $3,000 again here, boys. This is going to be relatively decent amount of utility. They sacrifice the helmets. Won't be a big deal in the final round. And Monacy, here we go. These are the sort of plays that win them rounds. Aggressive, of course. Takes full damage from the nades. The bombardment of 8K47 bullets will find Nico as well. This is getting out of control now. 9-3 on the T side of Nuke. Hunter, we need you to save the day. And he could do. A nice little maneuver here. Nope. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> it was looking I'm nice trying, though. I'm oh, trying. the next one. Hooksy gets caught by the op and oh baby. Nexa up in the Raptors. Okay, they can they're, progress. Yeah, they're giving a good of fights. They they want to they want to give a G2 a chance. They wanna they wanna toss this one away. Who needs it? Torji's gonna finish things off. Nine to three, big first half for Maus, and they're on the verge of eliminating G2. And here we go. We're going to start it off with an upper rush. We're going to get right into it. Let's go. We'll find out real early who's winning and losing this series. Let's go. Dooley's firing off. It's Exertion with the first kill. Brolin's got plenty of bullets left to shut down no. Nexa. And this G2 oh, hit no. is obliterated. That's all they had, the upper rush. No flash. 
<laughs> That's all they have. Uh, catch them by surprise. Dude. M4 on top of the box. Nice shot from Exertion. Hunter trying to get a little cheeky with that Glock. And, and really, I mean, you're right to point out, the only hope is really Nico's Deagle. And meanwhile, all of his teammates falling across the map, so the space that he's got to work with with said Deagle is uh, is limited. Doing quite nasty things out there. It's not impossible they win this round. Nico would have to keep delivering headshot after headshot. And uh, Shui almost certainly going to get one here, if not both. And it's going to be Nico with a couple of headshots. 11 to 3. One round away from series and elimination point. G2. Was he ever going to win that 1v1? And if he didn't, who's going to pick up the pieces there? No one. Yeah, the only way you really kind of come back in this round is if, like, it feels like if that kill is traded, and at the very least, you've gained some space and put some pressure towards that lower bomb site. Torji out towards CT spawn. His position now known. Modesty's going to find that upper bomb site. And it's the SMG that swings out We're and back, coming baby. up the vents. All of Mouse gets slaughtered. They really go for that retake quickly due to the time left in the round, and G2 pull it out of the bag. 3v5 converted. You know, they'll need six more gun rounds to win. I think even for a team like G2. They've got a squeaky door, and it's looking good for Hooksy. He'll be first point of contact. Great shot from him. Sets him up for some trades now. Roland working around the smoke. Oh, no, boys. Nico, you can still do this, Jason. I'm believing. Okay, you're believing. I'm believing. Let's find out. Torji. Over towards Squeak Door, one inside the bomb site. Where's That's the Brolin. Bomb? There's only oh, 20 seconds left. Gosh. Nico can't move anywhere else. He's just waiting for the smoke to fade. Oh, it feels so awkward. Footsteps made now because he's got to hurry. You don't have time to clear everything, and Torji just pounces. <laughs> says, screw it, I'm going for the peak. And Mao's win a low buy round with a trap in the upper bomb site. I mean, a lot of this is it's just been like a GG moment on repeat, I feel like. Oh, no. You're dead. Um, okay, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs> You're gonna give it a go. Okay. I'm gonna give it a go. Here we go. Is it time for recovery now? And Monacy finds the kill. The first incision on the CT defense. Another one for Hooksy. Three versus two. Down to Hunter. With a company him in this comeback. And Hooksy, Jason, Keep where were up. you? When Keep he kept the team alive, he kept their head above water. It's right here next to MP9 you. on the T side. For the tournament to stay alive with EPL. It's all lined up for a clutch, and it's not going to happen. Shuei closes it out 13 to 4. Mao's and Maps 2 and 3 looked damn near perfect. Dude, like we